and welcome to today's video. So today is going to be my second bullet journal video and it is a February bullet journal setup. Um, so I'm just going to be showing you how I set up my bullet journal for the month of February. Like the little things that I put in to this month's bullet journal. Let me know in the comments if you're enjoying these types of videos, I really love making them. And also sorry about the lack of the videos recently, I have been doing mocks at college and just loads of crazy stuff happening really. But I hope you enjoy this video and let's just get started with it because I don't want to ramble on too much. So starting off with a little flip through through the last month, these are just a few of the spreads that I completed. I also added in a revision bit as well. Um, so these are some pages for all my different subjects and stuff that I'll continue to use over the next few months. And yes, that's my last weekly spread. So let's get started with this one. So I'm just sticking on this rose watercolor with February written on it. I am going to be making a video of how I create these watercolour circle monthly things and then I'm just using a biro to create this little overview of the month. And now I'm creating this little quote page as I usually do on the other side. So for the upstrokes I'm just using a biro to create them really thin and then for the downstrokes I'm using this Tombow dual brush pen in black and then for the rest of it I am just continuing to use this Tombow pen. Um, I'm switching up between using the other side as well, where it's thinner. And the quote says, celebrate every small victory. And I really like this quote and I'm going to apply it to my life this month. So now moving on to this monthly page, I'm using a Crayola just to create the February. And I'm sorry about the filming, you can't really see what I'm doing. I'll try and improve that for next month. And then I'm just creating the calendar. I really like doing it in this style. I enjoyed it last month. And the boxes are five by five. And then as you can see, I did actually smudge it a little bit up here, which was really annoying. But now I'm just writing in the numbers. And then I'm just having a little growth tracker on the side. So for a little bit of decoration, I just decided to create these rose light things. So I was just continuing using my Crayola pen. I also decided to add tasks and a little goal section and then a wish list and a video ideas section. And as you can see, I don't have the habits section. So instead I'm putting this next to my mood tracker um, as a kind of little double page thing. I'm just using the Crayola pens as to make the colour line on the top and now I'm writing out every single day of the month twice and then I'm just writing down some moods along the top there's a space there just in case I need to add another one and then the habits that I want to keep for the month of February they're pretty much similar to the last couple of months so now I'm going back in with my Tombow brush pen and creating an expense tracker so I really enjoyed this last month, just making sure I don't overspend and just tracking that is really useful. So obviously I'm going to continue doing that because it works well for me. And I know I don't really have a lot of lines on here, but I don't tend to go over, so it's fine. And then I'm just using a white gel pen just to add a little bit of detail on the downstrokes. And then also a silver gel pen to create a tiny little drop shadow on all of the letters. Um, just to give it a little bit more dimension and make it stand out more than it did before. And now I'm just writing date, description, and if it adds or takes away from my funds. That is this double page spread finished, and we'll move on to the next one, which is going to be a weekly. And I do get inspiration for most of my bullet journal spreads off, like, Google images or Pinterest so a lot of them are my own ideas but quite a few are also taken as inspiration from other accounts and stuff so now I'm just creating the days and obviously this month is this weekly is still part of January And then I'm creating a notes section where I'm going to write how many hours I'm aiming to do work-wise, as in like revision, and then how many hours I do, and then also a little YouTube 
to-do list of the things I need to do. So I decided I actually didn't really like this top section, so I just cut up like a revision um, card and just like glued it to the top just so I could redo that bit because I just didn't like how it had turned out. So I just made a little calendar. The grey pen that I tried to highlight it with went a little bit too dark so I just decided to write out the days in the white gel pen just to make them stand out. And then I'm creating a little January header, this little banner thing, and I'm, all of the colour that I use is used with my Crayolas, in case you guys were wondering. And then I'm using the thinner end of the Tombow pen to just write February. And then I'm just adding some more colour details. So this is a flip through for this current month. I'm so excited to start filling it up. So I hope you guys enjoyed watching the video, if you did give it a thumbs up, subscribe, click the little bell thing to be updated of whenever I upload a video, follow my Instagram, it is Matara Scott, and my Twitter is also Matara Scott, and I am going to be filming a really cool video next, it is like a de-stressing video, yay, and I'll see you in my next one, bye guys! Bye.